Just want to do a quick video today. I have here my uh, ultrasonic cleaner. This is from Sharpertech. And if you don't already own a uh, ultrasonic cleaner, uh, they're really great to have. Um, I bought this to clean motorcycle carburetors, and Sharpertech also has this uh, solution for uh, uh, removing varnish from carburetors, which is really one of the biggest problems. Then that works very well, but uh, you know, anyway, if you don't have a uh, ultrasonic cleaner, there's a lot of uses for it. And I would suggest you get one if you're working with small parts and dirty stuff and rebuilding or restoring things. Um, and the way this works is, is that it transmits ultrasonic waves through the solution that's in the uh, top of the unit here. But a problem is, is that when you're cleaning a lot of dirty parts, you know, like old nuts and bolts, stuff like this, that um, you don't want to be dumping the stuff directly in uh, or putting it in the tray. There's a tray here that it comes with. This is a tray it comes with. And uh, you're putting stuff in there and you're contaminating the solution that's in there. Um, and uh, this is a little basket I made for small parts. Um, but anyway, um, the idea here is, is a way to be able to clean the parts but without having to fill this whole uh, container up with a uh, cleaning solution. So the solution that I came up with was using a, a small jar. I'll take a bunch of parts. Here I have a couple of uh, hose fittings. Take a bunch of parts. And I'm using, this is like a purple cleaner, whatever you want to call it. And just fill this up with that. You can see I've used this a little bit already, so this is getting kind of dirty. Filling it up, use a jar that seals up tightly. You know, you don't want to put this in something that's going to leak. Tighten that up and place the jar right in here. And turn the unit on. and just let it start and it's going to preheat and once it gets up to temperature those waves are going to transmit through the glass jar into the parts clean the parts that you need to do and, um, and that's going to be it then you can take the jar out take the jar completely out and this way i don't have contamination in the solution that's in the cleaner itself. So the cleaner stays nice and clean. You don't have to be wiping that out all the time. You can just leave the water in here. And this way I can just open this up, take these parts out, rinse them with hot water. Uh, hot water is going to dry quickly. I uh, dab them off with a towel, dump all the parts out onto a towel and just uh, get off the excess water. And that's it. And it works really well. So. Um, I hope that's of some help. I really think the ultrasonic cleaner works really well. They come in all different sizes. This one I bought uh, to clean carburetors, motorcycle carburetors with. Um, and it's a little small to put a whole set in. That's, I wish I had bought a larger one uh, so I could put all four carburetors for an inline four engine right in here. But um, this was reasonably priced and it works very well. It's well made, it's all stainless steel, as most of them are. Um, so um, I'm not endorsing any particular brand, but uh, they just work really well, and I think it's a handy thing to have, especially if you repair things or um, you have small things, jewelry, um, you know, small uh, motor components, stuff like that, any kind of small parts that uh, get kind of grungy. Uh, this way, by using this method of putting the parts in the jar, I can use a strong cleaner, a small amount of strong cleaner, to get really greasy, gunky, kind of dirt off of parts, at least for the most part. Sometimes I have to use a, um, a you know, do it a second time, use a second uh, dipping of the, the parts in here, but it works really well. Give it a shot.